everyone and welcome to another edition of Beam Backup and Replication version 12 Tips and Tricks. In today's installment I wanted to show you <coughs> the capabilities of Beam. Uh, as you can see I got two ES ESXi hosts. Uh, one of them is hosting a virtual machine, just a basic Debian machine. And what I wanted to show you is uh, the, the options that are available when you have hosts uh, in Veeam. So as you can see I have two standalone hosts, both are ESXi, as I said, one of them hosts a virtual machine. And today we're gonna talk about quick migration. So basically Veeam has the same kind of abilities that the ESXi host has or uh, vCenter. So you can migrate machines. So we can uh, check the quick migration option here. Okay, so we will pick the machine, host cluster, so we will choose the second ESXi host. Just to be sure, I'm gonna show you that the second host doesn't have anything on it. So this is the first host, and this is the second host. As you can see, no virtual machines here. We're gonna mi migrate from host 1 to host 2. Resource pool resor resources, data store, of course, ESXi2, yes. Okay, uh, source proxy, you can change it if you wish. Target proxy as well. So now we are checking the possibilities of migration of our, our virtual machine from one host to another. So like I said, Veeam has uh, quite a lot of options regarding, mm, uh, that are similar to the options of uh, ESXi host. Okay, we will finish. And our quick migration job be starting in a moment. So I will pause the video for now and I will unpause it when it's done. Okay, so as you can see the process has been completed. Now we can check if the migration was actually successful. Let's go to inventory once again to the host. You can see there is no virtual machine on this host and on the second host there is our virtual machine. Okay, so basically this is how you do a, a fast migration using Veeam. If you like the content as always, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.